Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, let's understand what are microservices really all about. Well, microservice architecture enables large teams to build scalable applications that compose of many loosely coupled services. Well, here is a typical microservice architecture looks like. For example, consider this is a microservice architecture for a simple shopping cart application. It has different services like product service, inventory service, stock service, and these are the independent and loosely coupled services. In microservices project, each microservice have their own database. For example, product service has their own database, inventory service has their own database, and stock service has their own database. And in microservices project, all the microservices are loosely coupled. So loosely coupled meaning all the services in a microservices project are independent to each other and each microservice should be developed independently and each microservice should be deployed independently and each microservice should be scaled independently okay so basically each service will have their own database each microservice should be developed independently, each microservice should be de deployed independently, and each micro microservice should be scaled independently. In microservices project, a services can communicate with each other. For example, product service can communicate with inventory service, and inventory service can communicate with stock service, and product service can communicate with multiple services as well. For example, product service can communicate with inventory service as well as stock service. Well, there are two types of communication styles. One is synchronous and another is asynchronous. In case of synchronous, we can use HTTP protocol to make a HTTP request from one microservice to another microservice. And in case of asynchronous, you know, communication, we have to use a message broker for asynchronous communication between multiple microservices. For example, we can use RabbitMQ or Apache Kafka as a message broker you know to make a asynchronous communication between multiple microservices and each microservice in a microservices project can expose a rest apis for example product service can expose the rest apis inventory service can expose the rest apis and stock service can expose the rest apis and here product service can communicate with inventory service it means product service have to call the rest api of inventory service using http protocol each microservice can expose the REST APIs and each microservice can call another microservices REST APIs using HTTP protocol. So this is the synchronous communication and in case of asynchronous communication, the microservices have to use a third party component or a message broker for asynchronous communication. Now let's take a look into the key components in a microservices architecture. Well, the key component is API Gateway. Well, whenever a client sends a request to API Gateway, and then API Gateway will route that request to the relevant microservices. Alright, and here the client can be a web application, a mobile application, or a desktop application. Alright, and whenever client want to consume the REST APIs backend services, the client have to first send a request to API Gateway, and then API Gateway will route that request to the relevant microservice. And here one more key component is a service registry. Well, all the microservices in our microservice project will register to service registry and the api gateway will discover the particular microservice hostname and port using service registry so that api gateway can route that request to particular microservice and one more key component is config server so this config server component will basically externalize the configurations of you know microservices and one more key component is distributed tracing well in order to maintain the logs or complete log hierarchy of a particular http call we can use distributed tracing all right so these are the few key components in a microservices architecture so just remember microservice architecture enables large teams to build scalable applications that compose of loosely coupled services and each microservice have their own database and each microservice expose the rest apis and each microservice is loosely coupled and each microservice developed independently each microservice deployed independently and each microservice scaled independently. So these are the important characteristics of each microservice. All right. So this is all about microservices. All right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.